Hi. Uh, first of all, I saw you at Foley Square on uh, Women's March. It was really awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Yale. I'm a, I am a first generation immigrant. I wasn't even going to say that, but cool. Uh, mm -hmm. as, a tech, as a tech entrepreneur as well, um, I do think every day about um, automation and the millions of jobs that are going to be replaced by machines in the coming decades. And how will we as a society be able to ensure that everyone can still earn a living or even find a purpose in an economy that will not be able to support as many jobs? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a great question. And, and I think um, when we talk about automation, it's not just automating people out of work, but it's automating every system that we have right now. And what it also means is automating injustice. So when we talk about um, the trend of economic inequality, it's only going to accelerate with the advancement of technology if we don't fix our underlying systems. So if we don't fix our actual systems and how we handle uh, the production of wealth, you know, we should be, everybody should be feeling the fact that we are mo at our most prosperous point than we've ever been. Everybody in the country should be feeling the extent of our national prosperity, but the majority of us aren't. And, uh, and so when we talk about the you know, job automation, one of the things that's difficult is you know, people should not necessarily, we should not be haunted by the specter of being automated out of work, right? Uh, we, shouldn't, we should not feel nervous about uh, you know, the toll booth collector not having to collect tolls anymore. Um, we should be excited by that. But the reason we're not excited by it is because we live in a society where if you don't have a job, you are left to die. And that is at its core our problem. And so there are a lot of different solutions or a lot of different proposed uh, ideas about how we go about that. You know, Bill Gates has talked about taxing robots at 90%. And what that means, what he's really talking about is taxing corporations at 90%. Um, but it's easier to say tax a robot. <laughs> um, and so, so I think that what we do is when we actually decouple ourselves from this idea, uh, you know, we, we should get to a point and we should uh, structure our systems, whether it's a tax rate, whether it's uh, distributing wealth that is created by automation. Um, if, we talk, if, we, if we approach solutions to our system and start entertaining ideas like that, then we should be excited about automation because what it, what it could potentially mean is more time educating ourselves, more time creating art, more time investing and investigating in the sciences, more time focused on invention, more time uh, going to space, more time enjoying the world that we live in. Uh, because not all creativity needs to be bonded uh, by wage. And, uh, and I think that actually like, one of the reasons that this ideology or, or questions of whether you want to call it democratic socialism or techno-futurism or like whatever it is, um, it is because our technological advancement as a society has outpaced our system for handling finite resources because now we are approaching, approaching infinite resources. And how do you, like uh, capitalism is based on scarcity and what happens when there is enough for everyone to eat? What happens when there is enough for everyone to be clothed? Then you have to uh, make scarcity arti artificial. And that is what has happened. We have created artificial scarcity. And that is why we are driven to work 80 hours a week when we are being our most productive at any point in American history. And so we, you know, we should be working the least amount we've ever worked if we were actually paid based on how much wealth we were producing. Yeah. But we're not, we're paid on how little we're desperate enough to accept. And then the rest is skimmed off and given to a billionaire. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I know that you grew up with Star Trek as well. Yeah. I like to think of it as full Star Trek socialism is the goal. <laughs> um, I wanna get through it.